and today I would like to give you some techniques and ideas about working with anger. Because I am a counsellor, psychotherapist and also a yoga teacher, I am going to give you two approaches to dealing with your anger. Anger is an emotion that comes up when our boundaries have been violated um, in normal, healthy individuals. So anger is not something to be feared necessarily. The important point is what we do with the anger. So anger in itself is not good or bad, but what we do with that anger is important. So obviously violent acts against another person because if, if somebody said, oh, I felt angry, so that's why I hit the person, that doesn't make it okay, right, just to be clear. Um, but there are some ways that you can kind of work with your anger. If there is anger because of old trauma, then it's important to seek the help of a therapist or someone who you trust, who you can confide in and share what's going on with. Okay, so that's really important to mention too. And this advice is some guidance for you. It's not medical advice, so that, that kind of should be obvious, I hope. <laughs> okay, so let's look at two ways, two approaches of looking at anger. So from a psychotherapeutic perspective, anger comes up in the therapeutic space um, usually once the client feels quite safe that the person feels listened to, feels heard, yeah? So when that anger comes up, even though it might feel quite scary, it's actually a really good sign. And it's a sign that the, the level of the work that you're doing is going to a deeper level, and this is where the change really is, you know? Um, one psychotherapist called John Bradshaw, who I really admire, he talks a lot about the inner child. And in terms of healing and recovery, he refers to second order change. So second order change is the deeper kind of change that you will kind of be looking for through psychotherapy, where you're really changing the whole way your brain is configured, really. So it, it, you know, this is why psychotherapy takes a long time, because you're looking at change at a deep level. And that usually involves dealing with anger, looking at the anger from the past, if that is applicable in one situation and really, you know, get into the root of that. So, so that is one way of working, and, and as I say, if that feels like your situation, then you're going to need some, some guidance, some help from, from somebody who can help you. Um, so I would definitely recommend that if there feels like a lot of anger and it feels kind of old, then definitely seek out some support for that. But today, just looking at some techniques, you know, we, we have anger issues maybe come up in day-to-day -day life that is just about, you know, traffic or noisy neighbours. And there are ways that we can manage that on a very sort of um, straightforward level. So, first of all, it's important to acknowledge that you're feeling angry, okay? Sometimes the best way to do that is to actually say it out loud, I'm feeling angry. If your tendency is to kind of hold the anger in or to maybe blame somebody else or maybe just to stuff it down with some food or coffee or cigarettes, then that might be the first, first point for you to kind of own and acknowledge your anger. And that might be, you know, in itself quite a challenge if, if that's new. One way that is helpful sometimes is to journal, to keep a journal, um, or if anger comes up and it's appropriate, if you're in a space where you can actually get a pen and paper, write down, you know, I'm feeling angry because, and let it out that way. So that it's not just going round and round in your head, yeah? That in itself can be really effective to just helping you feel calmer. So, secondly, physical activity can be really helpful in discharging angry emotions. So I would say if you can go for a run or a walk, and at the same time be mindful as you're doing it, kind of thinking about processing why I'm angry and using it, really channeling the anger into that activity, that can be really, really effective also. So those are some two, two useful tips, yeah? Um, as I say, if we're dealing with anger that's really old, then you're going to probably need some help with that. So, one good definition of trauma is 
really pain that is too difficult to face by yourself or some some challenge in life that is really, really too difficult to face by yourself. And that means this is where a therapist or a counsellor or someone who you trust who is going to be able to listen to you and help you, that's where that comes in, okay? So from a yogic perspective, what can you do? What do I teach my students in yoga class? I teach my students um, methods of breathing called pranayama. So many te yoga teachers do this, but this is important in my classes that it's a rounded class, so not just postures, not just asana, in other words, but also pranayama, breathing exercises. One very simple breathing exercise you can do to calm yourself down when you feel angry is a method called shitali breathing, okay? So let me teach you that now. Pretty much everyone can do this. I teach this to my five-year-old student, but she's very, very adept now. I've been teaching her since she's been four. So, <laughs> you know, but um, we, can all, we can all do this one, okay? So I'm going to teach you how to do that now. First of all, whenever you do breathing exercises, sit yourself up really tall. So if you have a habit to be sort of slouched like this, then straighten your spine. You can do this seated in a chair, or you can do it sitting down, cross-legged on the floor. That's also very nice if you can. But you can do this anywhere, in the car. If you feel like you're going to scream at your partner, maybe go to another room and, and just do this breathing practice. So here we go. Shitali breathing, okay? Now, if you can, you're going to roll your tongue make it a tube, almost like you're rolling a rug that way, okay? You're going to take a breath in, notice what happens to my lips, okay? Shitali breathing. Breathe in through your tube, close the lips, breathe out through your nose. Take that as slowly and as deeply as you can, yeah? Another simple pranayama technique or breathing technique which will balance both sides of your brain and therefore is useful in anger is alternate nostril breathing. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this for you. Uh, however, I'm not going to mirror you. So, when I give directions, be mindful that I'm using my actual right hand, okay? The first thing we do is make a fist with the right hand, okay? This is my right hand. Usually when I teach, I mirror, so it's easier for you, but it's important to do it correctly. So use your right hand, make a fist, release the little finger and the ring finger, then the thumb. Cover your left nostril with the two fingers, yeah? Close. Just with the pads of the fingers, close it, seal it. The mouth stays closed. You're going to inhale through the right nostril. Close. And exhale through the left. Now inhale left. Close. Exhale right. That's one round. You can do as many rounds as time allows, really, with this one. No danger, no problem. Again, children do this, no problem. It's not an advanced technique, so everybody can do this. Um, these are some methods, then, for you to work with your anger. But, as I say, if you feel that maybe this, just even watching this video has made you think, mm, yeah, I'm angry all the time, actually. I need to do something about that. Then I really would encourage you to seek out somebody you, you trust, who you can trust, to help you. But in the meantime, hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, try the techniques out, and um, all the best to you. Thank you.